I think Victoria, Mac, and Alex have, have given their heart and soul to the program. Uh, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy uh, playing basketball at the university level and going to school and, and being high performers. So, uh, credit to, to those people. They're special individuals. They help, especially, move the our, our culture thermometer forward. And our culture is so much better. Um, and you know the, the the results that we have moving forward for the remainder of the year and beyond. Uh, all three of those players can look back, and they'll have a part of uh, the success that we have moving forward into the future. We always want to try to be better than we before and better than 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 our last. And and I thought we were. So it, it, Brock was a good measure because they 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 outworked us. They did certain things, and and we just let them do it. Uh, I think they shell shocked us, but now you you take the, the the measurement now from then. I think they've gotten a little bit better, but we've gotten a lot better. So that 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 bodes well. It, it sort of gives us positive feedback that we're doing the right things. She just keeps working hard. She has a smile on her face. She's she's going to be our new Vic with uh, like she brings a, a levity when when things are a little serious. I'm, I'm a pretty serious coach and. And both Vic and, and Shaq are good medicine for us because they, they lighten up things up and it's it's they're easy kids to be around and Shaq's worked really hard and you know we, we say to the kids you don't know when you're going in we don't know where we don't know when but be ready and, and she's been ready. It's literally meant everything. My experience here is nothing but great and I enjoy playing all my five years here, especially with Mac. I got injured and um, all my teammates picked me up, every single one of them, and I'll never forget it, and I, and I was really, really down, and they brought me back. As I told the team earlier, um, since grade five, I've known that I've wanted to be a Mustang, so I'm from London, so it means a lot to have finally gotten that goal to come true. Um, every game when I stood up wearing the jersey, I just think of myself in grade five and how I finally got here. It's just knowing that it's like the end, I just let that fire me. Um, I'm not going to continue with basketball after this, so like these are my last couple of games to just leave it on the floor. So that's what I went with today. You always want to build good habits, win or lose, and, and I thought we did that. I thought we grew as a team today, and uh, it's, it's really important that we keep building and building and getting as, and fortifying our, our team as we ready ourselves for the playoffs. We grew as a team, like offensively, defensively, like every part of our, our, our game. So, you know what, that game versus this game, it's like a totally different thing. You can't even compare the two. I feel like I've done my job. I feel like that's like what the fifth year role is. It's to, to lead by example and then to bring them along with you and take them under your wing. So it's great to see them out there hitting shots and like, cause they're the future of Mustangs. So it's nice to see it. We've worked a lot, we've worked really hard on it. We've put in a lot of sets just so that it's hard for teams to scout us. So, um, and taking care of the ball has always been a huge thing we work on in practice. So it's finally starting to show. Playing at home in playoffs is huge. We get our crowds involved and we get super amped about the whole thing. So. I think that the way that this game went, it showed us like who we truly are. So going into Guelph on Saturday, we should have some confidence and uh, we should be calm though and just go in and just play how we did today and then it should turn out the way we want it.